Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Vichy Race Course here on Tuesday. It's the 18th of July, 2023. I'm going to look at the sixth race from Vichy, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. Remember to go check out my Saratoga previews for the, throughout the week and also check out my um, Vichy previews for, throughout the week as the uh, festival continues. Let's look at the sixth race, which is the Pre Hubert Bagonant de Bouchies. Stakes. It's listed stakes going for a purse fifty five thousand dollars. Race for four year olds and upwards. Eight horses are going twenty four hundred meters or a mile and one half on the turf course. I'm gonna take the three horse golden call as a top selection. Let's go three seven in your forecast exacta. Three seven forecast exacta. Top selection three horse golden call. Four year call by Havana Gold. Um, Henry Patel trains this one. Tony Vacone gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came twenty fifth of June at Leon Patty. A mile and a half in the listed stakes. Stepping up in class, he ran decently. He finished second by two and a half lengths. He had a decent turn of foot from a tracking trip. The winner had the jump on him, but he ran good back up in class. Coming here to Vichy, drawn very well, can handle slight given the ground. I expect him to run well and really improve off of that run. Prior to that, the horse ran the 4th of June of Shanti. Mile 3, it's in a class 2 handicap there, and he won by a head that day. He was all out from a tracking trip. He held on to the victor. An all-around easy, good victory for this horse, stepping up into a very tough Class uh, 1 handicap, not Class 2. And then prior to that, a conditions race at Longchamp over the mile 5 eighths on the uh, 18th of May. He finished fourth by one and a quarter lengths that day. And he just, you know, faced a little bit tough competition. And also, I just don't, I do think the trip was just a little bit too long for him there. And then Sonk him over the mile and a half in a conditions race. He finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths. Soft ground. He really wasn't getting the trip there. And then you could the race before Chanti over the mile 7 8 stay. He definitely didn't stay the trip there. He won the seasonal reappearance at Compiègne quite nicely. Coming here, he could definitely win against these horses. I'm going to use him. The seven horse Adi for Maxime Guion and um, Christophe Verlan could definitely win. Most recently on that Leon Paddy race, he was just run a little bit too wide and his wheels were spinning. He couldn't keep up late. Prior to that, uh, test over the mile and a half, he couldn't really stay the trip over, this, over the, um, the, the demanding going. I do think this horse goes up a little bit fast with, with a little bit faster ground. If you could run a race like it ran to San Clue or even that that race is uh, uh the, the San Clue race or even the Consumers race, he could definitely win against these horses. At five to one, I u I'll use him, but I th do think Golden Call is um, the form's been better lately and can really improve off the runs. But it's a very exciting feature here. But to recap my selection for the six from Vichy, it's the pre -Hugo Hubert Bagonaut Stakes. Gonna take the three horse Golden Call. Give kudos to the seven horse Audi. Three seven forecast Exacta. Three seven in your multi race. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.